So um, it says, what is the shortest wavelength line in nanometers in the Paskin series, which is N2 equals 3 and N1 equals infinity for hydrogen? So what do we need to do? We need to remember the Rydberg equation. Also remember so it gives us the values for n1 is infinity right and n2 is three so let's just plug this stuff in here so I'll show you how I like to plug it in talking about before we turn the camera on. This is infinity and of course we know that doesn't really make sense to say in 1 over infinity squared but if we think about our calculus or whatever this limit goes to 0. Okay. Do you have a question? Or okay. So let's go ahead and simplify. So 1.097 times 10 to the 7 divided by 1 meter times 1 9 minus 0. So, divided by 9. So, I get um, for these problems, we'll just uh, make it standard to go to three significant figures, okay? Because it doesn't really give us, these aren't figures to energy levels. Um, in fact, they give you an infinite number of significant figures if you think about it that way. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. But that's per meter. Right? And that is also 1 over wavelength. Right? So that's not what we want. We want wavelength. Okay? So all we do is flip this thing over. Okay? So how do we do that? We say 1 meter divided by 1.22 times 10 to the 6, so 1, and I get 8.20 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, like that. But it says it wants it in nanometers. So can I erase this part of the board? Is that all right? Is everybody okay with that? I mean, do you guys have it down yet? Okay, so all right. So all we got to do here. So do you guys remember how many nanometers are in a meter? Ten to the ninth. Right? And so I won't do this in my cal calculator and get it wrong. Okay, 
Okay, so did that make sense? Okay, so this one was a little harder because of that limit going to infinity. Okay. Are there any questions on this one? Again, it's mostly memorized the uh, equation, memorized 